Once you have completed taking your photograph and work, uh, doing your contour drawing, you're gonna do a thumbnail sketch. You're gonna do a plan. Now we're gonna use half of a sheet of paper. As you can see, this is a rectangle when it's divided in half. Even if you were to fold it in half, you still have a rectangle, which you could do. But we are working on a 12 by 12 square, which I know you can't really see that as large as this is, it doesn't fit in my frame. But you can see that that's a square. It's gonna be a 12 by 12. So you may want to divide your paper in half and then measure it off because it's five and a half and you may want to do a square within that. Or you may wanna just make like a six by six square or a seven by seven square. And then inside that, so this one I just made a six by six square. And then I drew a contour drawing of a bell pepper for this one. So you could do a five and a half by five and a half. It's up to you, but I would suggest that you do a square. You're gonna place your contour drawing of your fruit inside of that or your vegetable. I think I have another one here. This one, okay? And then you're gonna use your five line types and you're gonna divide up the background into an abstract design. But what you need to decide before that is where are you gonna place your fruit or your vegetable? Where's your object going? You learned about balance. This is gonna be an asymmetrical design. So that means it's abstract, it's not making a, a, it's not a mirror image where you could split it down the middle and it's exactly the same on all sides. So you're gonna make an asymmetrical design and you need to make a decision where you wanna put your fruit. Is it gonna be more in the middle? Are you gonna place your fruit more up towards the left and have it come down? Maybe you have a banana and maybe that's the direction for that. Maybe you have a jalapeno pepper. Maybe that's the better direction is that way. Maybe you want it in the lower right hand corner. Maybe you want it more in the center. Those are decisions that you have to make when you're drawing. Then you're gonna choose those five line types. You're using diagonal, you're using curves, you're using vertical, you're using zigzags and horizontal. And one of you need to remember is that those can change directions and change into a different line as well. Cause you're gonna have to use variety to create an interesting composition. So that means more than one. And you can decide how you wanna divide that up. Cause what we're doing is we're gonna be creating an artful design using our fruits and vegetables to create and use all those shading techniques, patterns, lines, repetition, and things that we've been working with. And so you've gotta make a decision, how do you wanna divide that up? So on your sketch, if you are using a diagonal line, then you need to use your ruler. If it becomes a curve, then you can make that a curve. If you're using some kind of horizontal line, that's fine, but you're dividing it up. You want some rather large sections, nothing too small because you can always come back and add a few more things later. Because you can always divide this space up again. So maybe I wanna come in here and do a line or maybe I wanna do, let's see if I did a curved line, you know, you can create a shape for your space if you wanted to, and then you could add some kind of pattern in there because every single space you're drawing is going to have some kind of line design or pattern with it. So you have to divide up the whole page. You can take and do two lines like we've talked about before and then if you still feel that some of your sports, one of the things I have found with this is that a lot of times having large sections are great, but then you're gonna to wanna to come in and divide those up. And sometimes you do that as you're working, you find out that it needs a little bit more division. And those are just things that come along as you do your assignment and divide up your space. Once we have this done, then we will transfer it to our good paper.